we are on a new project today so got a new construction building here that was built back on an existing lot or they tore an old building down well it's not like assisted living like, but it's like people will come or like workers will come to your house if you have someone that needs assistance or elderly or something like that's what it is but it used to be actually an old uh, <clears throat> landscaping yard so I kind of got me some orange marks here we're actually going to put a base rock parking lot in and I think that their plan is now maybe in a year or two to come in here and pave it and then everything kind of behind these orange marks up to here we just got to kind of grade out and turn to get back to dirt seed and straw and then dad's going to landscape I think he's working on a little retaining wall up there and then I'm just going to do all kind of the site work or grading work I think they got some people out front doing ribbon cutting or something but uh, <laughs> gotta take part of this fence down he's gonna pour a pad for the dumpster and then some of that up there i'm gonna add dirt to it he's gonna landscape it then we got one spot in the corner to take out like an old it's got some old retaining wall blocks and some landscaping there we're gonna do some decorative stuff in but i'm basically gonna get everything dug out and probably get fabric and put in base rock and the city's recommendation they do want six inches of rock underneath the asphalt so my thought was and i'm trying to kind of coordinate with the builder is we need to come in here and shoot grade and figure out where we want this thing and put in eight to nine inches of rock that way you know even if it is a two or three years they can just come in here skim off the top few inches of rock and be ready to go i don't want to just put six inches down on this and then they come back and they're like hey we well, you know <laughs> You need six inches of rock underneath your asphalt because then you're raking rock up and digging out the rest of the dirt so let's just do it once what i'm going to do for starters is uh pick up some of this trash that's just kind of left here so that's why i got the gloves put that in the dumpster and then just start taking the grading bucket and go down this fence and just strip off all the grass and junk like that and make a couple of uh, like a trash pile and then they're still trying to figure out on like a approach over there so yeah there's a lot of what ifs but uh, at least i can start kind of picking up some of this trash and roughing some of this in until he shows up and we know exactly what we're gonna do. Let's pick some trash up. All right, got me a bucket of trash. I just didn't wanna mix all that. I'm gonna strip the grass off first. We'll have to just haul it to a spot. Just kinda of dump it, but I just didn't want all that trash and junk in there. I think Dad's gonna run back and get some more blocks on his retaining wall we got to lengthen that he's already moved some of the big rocks from the front this was the place that uh oh and that water feature that he did last year that i helped on they actually helped him uh design that that's what they primarily do there's an they're an aquascapes uh dealer or whatever so they helped with that, and this was their shop. I think they've since found another one or moved and sold this property. So that's what all the different rock and crate rock and all the junk is along there. I think these people are already moved in. Uh, it was kind of an afterthought deal, like with this parking lot. I guess they built it, but they didn't really have anybody lined up to landscape or clean anything up or something. So. I guess this is one of the jobs that my dad actually ended up getting. I'm just going to help him do all the uh, site work stuff. And I think he's going to get some wire cutters so we can uh, start taking that metal fence down. But and that wooden fence is eventually coming out. I don't know. I think it's we're just gonna take it out to that end now and then when they add on the new fence. I think like everything else, they're uh, waiting on materials for the fence or something. He's actually got enough to build the little surround around the dumpster. But that's all he's got left over from another. I don't know if it's white vinyl or what it is, but See, you can see there's Weed Guard, Creek Rock. It's not real suitable stuff for a parking lot. I got the 
loader here to do the bulk of it in the middle, but I'm going to use this to go along the edges and kind of pour it along the fence. I was actually going to bring the 2150 up here for this job. I thought there was going to be a lot more... Originally, when we first talked, there was going to be a lot more digging down and cutting or whatever, and then they changed their mind. I don't think they're still 100% sure what they want to do, so... Like a lot of my jobs, I think there was prints for the building, but they don't. I think this was an afterthought, and they're already moved in, so I don't know. Surely the city's got to come by and look at all this. I can't. And I get that comment a lot, like you know, where are my blueprints or where are my plans? Uh, I don't do a ton of commercial work where we have it, and Joplin's still a small enough town. It's we don't always have prints on things. It's kind of, I know that is probably kind of weird to a lot of people. Like, yeah, I mean, they had prints and stuff on the building. I'm sure they're supposed to, or they should have had some sort of landscaping and, uh, like, grading or elevation permit, or not permit, but plans. But ever since the tornado on some of this stuff, even though this building was not destroyed in the tornado, it's weird, like with them building on the existing lot, I'll, I'll spit out what I'm trying to say in a minute. It's like they found so many loopholes and different things on, even though it's a new construction building, it's on the existing lot, so it's like they don't have to have this, this, or this. So it's kind of wild. Uh, what you can get away with anymore, I guess. Which is good and bad. But we will continue stripping this grass and creek rock up and then uh, hopefully my engineer, architect guy or whatever will show up here shortly and we can come up with the game plan on the parking lot.
despite everything today, <laughs> this is the progress that I made. So I didn't really get any kind of grade established on the lot, but uh, Dad finished getting the blocks on his wall. I think he's gonna finish the caps tomorrow. I got the sidewalk somewhat cleaned up. I think we're gonna have to, or he was planning on already replacing the sidewalk because when the water company came in, they just <clears throat> took a section of it up and then set it back down so it's too high. And then I kind of got all the trash and junk like that stripped off, but there's still <clears throat> kind of a soft spot out here and just a ton of like creek rock and gravel, which like this out here, oh, from about that pole is gonna be the edge of the parking lot. And this is just all gonna be grass. Yeah, I mean, really, if I could kind of get figured out another day, I could start bringing rock. I don't know if I'd finish the parking lot, but we're gonna bring some three inch in. But yeah, after getting my truck stuck and ripping a mud flap off and then uh, his, uh, drive shaft breaking which all i didn't get any video i just got pictures <sighs> yeah and then getting a late start and waiting on the engineer it was i guess a productive half a day <laughs> and then i think we got to put a driveway concrete driveway approach so all this will have to come out but which i don't know what the city is going to have them do because uh there's not really i mean there was a curb here at one time but they've capped the road whenever they abandoned the train track so uh yeah now everything's higher so i don't know what the, they may have to put a new uh curb in but we're gonna head to the shop for tonight and try again tomorrow